Hey guys, my name is KidW25, and this is a commentary about a huge thing that's happened the last week or so on YouTube. It's the whole drama situation, especially, con specifically, concerning the th the things that have been said between Scarce and Fousey. Now, I recognize that the whole beef between Fousey and Scarce have been completely squashed by the, those two. Uh, they've talked about it and they've just settled their differences. Uh, and I've just ma wanted to make sure that I know both sides of the situation before I make this video, just to make sure that I'm not too biased about um, one way or an another. Now, the thing that started this whole drama thing was a whole situation between Fuzi and another YouTuber who's, you know, up and coming, uh, called Rice Gum, and they, recently they had just done a, a collaboration with each other, and they were, they looked like the, they were the best, like they were good friends, but then suddenly certain aggressive tweets were made. Rice Gum started it on tw Twitter, uh, just making threats, making, you know, a lot of, like, tough talk. And then it all cultivated, it all peaked at, at the release of a video that someone who's um, connected with Rice Gum recorded, where it shows Rice Gum punching FouseyTube. After that happened, and it was being reported by news channels like Philip DeFranco, um, and Scarce, and even Drama Alert, Fousey came out saying that it was all a fake. Why did he make it, uh, make that whole stunt? He claims in a, a video that he was trying to prove how easy it was to manipulate uh, drama news channels and how he believes that the the rise of pop the popularity of drama videos about drama is starting to make YouTube a very negative place I agree with Fuzi about the whole positivity spreading positivity is important it's very easy to be misunderstood he says uh, especially with the tweet um, people just started hating on him without even asking him he mentions how fellow muslim youtubers started attacking him after he made that because they thought he was comparing himself to pr the prophet muhammad instead of just asking him what he meant giving him a chance Truthfully, it's actually good that he released this video because it's very good to be able to explain what he meant. The thing that I don't agree or necessarily be on, on his side on is that this whole thing is all to fight drama. People's fascination with drama will be constant. It's just something in our brain. We're wired. It's like we like nice stories. We like happy endings. But we're also some... For some reason, we're also really really it's like we're magnetized to knowing the latest drama that's why gossiping is huge that's why just rumors are huge all the time now every news outlet in every medium relies on drama drama sells but that doesn't necessarily mean that the people who are reporting it like scarce or keemstar or even defranco or even journalists take joy in reporting it they're just there to do a job because people want to know the latest happenings i'm a youtuber and i want to know what's been happening on youtube i watched the whole comparing myself to martin luther king jr video it seemed that fuzi had the best intentions but he just went about trying to deal with the problem in the, one of the most stupidest ways. But I'm still very adamant that you shouldn't create fake drama, present it as real drama, and then say you manipulated the people and be a good guy. It's just, it's just something morally and possibly ethically wrong for me. <laughs> In conclusion, this video is not about throwing shade at anybody. It's not about throwing shade at Fousey or Ricegum or Scarce or Keemstar even. I've just felt like a bystander watching something that I love getting torn apart. 
I felt like there were some things that were still unsaid that still needed to be said. And that there was just a, a lot of unnecessary hate coming from both sides, the fans from both sides. I'm just glad that it's over and that the whole situation ended amicably. I hope I can edit this in such a way that it still has some sort of flow and still manages to uh, to portray what I wanted it to portray. I don't, I don't know. I, I just... Anyway, if you guys did enjoy the video, please give the video a like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Just give me your thoughts. Um, I'd love to um, see what other people think. I don't know if I'm alone in what I've talked about in this video, but yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one.